Hello, welcome brothers and sisters. My name is Faisal and it's my first course uh, in YouTube. In this course I will uh, show you different uh, questions that you can uh, find in any interviews or finding a job. And of course uh, I will answer for all these questions. I will, co will cover uh, many topics that concern a wide array of Android material. The first ones we will cover general Android development questions that are usually asked at the start of your interview or your test. We will request to asking and answering questions about core Android concepts such as activities and fragment. This is where we will spend a good part of the course since it covers so many interesting topics. Afterwards, we will discuss Android UI elements and tools that every developer uses in their everyday work. We will also talk about important structures that are often the subject of interview questions such as the secret views and the research. We will then go through two sections that are very important performance optimization and design button, both of which I have used extensively as a source of question for my interviews. Finally, we will talk about some libraries that are used by most professional projects and which are an important topics of discussion. So, thank you for joining my course. <coughs> In section 1, we will talk about general Android development. <coughs> Sorry. Let's start. And the part one is about Android development. Let's go. What are the supported language of the Android system? Android supports C, Java, and more recently Kotlin as main language. What is the Android SDK? The Android Software Development Kite SDK is a set of development tools used to develop applications for Android platform. The Android SDK includes the following required libraries, debugger and emulator, relevant documentation for the Android application program interface, API, simple source code, Tutorials for the Android OS. What is the Android NDK? The Android Native Development Kite NDK is a set of tools that allow you to use C and C++ code with Android and provide libraries that can be used to manage native activities and access physical device components such as sensors and touch input. The NDK is useful if extra performance and optimization are required. There is a need to use some libraries across app. What is an APK file? The Android package file .apk, is a form I use to package Android application for distribution and installation. It contains all the source code, resource, assets, etc that the Android app needs to run. What are some of the Android security features for app? By default, Android provides several security features for every running app, such as different app user, unique Linux user ID, unique VM virtual machine, separate process for each app. What is the principle of least privilege? Each app, by default, has access only the component that is required to do its works, and no more. The reason for this is that this creates a very secure environment in which an app cannot access part of the system, for which it is not given permission. What is virtual machine, VM? A Java virtual machine, GVM, 
of JVM is the virtual machine that enables a computer to run. Java programs as well as programs written in other languages that are also compiled to Java bytecode. Is the Java is Java compiled or interpreted? Java implementation typically use a two-step compilation process. First ones, Java source code is compiled down to bytecode by the Java compiler, and after this, the bytecode is executed by a Java virtual machine, JVM. What is a compiler? A Java compiler is a program that takes the text file work of a developer and compiles it into a platform and dependent Java file. That's the last question for uh, this part and tomorrow I will answer another question about Java or Android with iOS. Thank you so much. If it's first one to have uh, see this video, share it, subscribe to my channel and like it and I will see you tomorrow inshallah. Goodbye.